I'm Aaron. And I'm Brian. And we're from Gemini Syndrome. These are crazy tour stories. <laughs> okay, so on the last tour we went out to Drowning Pool. And uh, it was our first experience with having a bus. And we were, I guess, renting to, to own. It's kind of the situation. It's a little older, but it had work done to it. And it was supposedly in good condition. Well, we leave and we're headed to the first show in Colorado Springs. And I went to sleep. And I woke up thinking we were at a truck stop. And I look out the window and there's a freeway. And I look out the other window and there's a mountain range. And I thought this can't be good. Surely enough, the bus had died on the way out of the rest area. So eventually a tow truck flatbed comes, puts the bus on it, and we find a repair place that's just over the border from Utah to Colorado. That and whole thing took eight hours. That whole thing was, was quite some time. So we get to the border of Colorado, the port of entry, and mind you, at this moment, out of the entire ten of us, only I think they only knew about two of them. Yeah. So there's two people like saying that we were driving the bus there, but you can't have people in a vehicle and have it towed legally. So we had the rest of us hiding in the back lounge in our bunks, like quiet as as church mice, like they couldn't know. No power, no food, no bathroom. We get stuck at port of entry because the tow truck driver didn't have the proper paperwork to cross the border. So we stayed there for about seven hours, um, like Anne Frank back of the bus. The repair place was 11 miles down the road, so they had to call a tow truck from Colorado to come to the border, take our bus off, put it on the other truck, tow that truck across the border, then switch it back to the other tow truck to go 11 miles down, at which point we find out the engine had seized, and uh, we got a cargo van from the rest of the tour. Cargo van and the U-Haul And a U-Haul. We were rolling we, with them. Yeah, we had to, we had to take, get rent a U-Haul, <laughs> that had a tow hitch, like a tow or trailer, and we had a passenger van, and that was a 12-passenger passenger van, but luckily, I mean, in Grand Junction, Colorado, we found a place that had, I mean, the fact that we found these hey. two vehicles was a miracle, because, I mean, there was, out of an entire lot of U-Hauls, there was only two trucks that actually had the square peg that could accept our tow hitch, yeah. and then in the entire uh, city of uh, Grand Junction, on a Saturday, there was only one uphill both ways in the snow. Yeah, we somehow made it. Like we did the rest of that tour in a passenger van. It was well, we got to Chicago, and then we, we had to switch switch vehicles. Switch to another passenger van. It was just. It was fun. Yeah. It was Stay comfortable. Please. And then adventure. Stay cozy. And then and then and then I think the the tour before that, Danny ended up getting locked in the bathroom in the back, and was kind of like knocking on the door and texting us and we go back there and we had to shimmy open the door with with uh, pocket knives, knives screwdrivers and, and long, I think he snapchat the entire experience we're like sticking things under the door trying to get to a thing and we eventually broke them out it was good 